second graders. So today we're going to be working on Eureka Module 4, Lesson 23. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, our objective today is we're going to use number bonds to break apart three-digit menuends and subtract from the hundred. So what that means is we're going to be working with three digits and we're going to be decomposing them. So let's go ahead and get started. We should always remember when we break things apart that one big is equal to 10 littles. Difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. And when we decompose numbers, we're breaking apart the number. So let's go ahead and take a look at our application problem. Yosef downloaded 115 songs. 100 of them were rock songs. The rest were hip hop songs. Okay. Question A, how many of Yosef's songs are hip hop? Well, I'm going to use a tape diagram for that. So I'm going to cut it into two pieces. And since 100 of them are rock songs and we're trying to figure out how many are hip hop songs, the bigger piece of tape is going to go to my rock songs. So I know that I have 115 songs total and part of them are rock songs and that number is 100. And I'm trying to find how many were hip hop songs. So I can just do this by subtracting. 115 take away 100. So that's pretty easy to subtract. It's 15. Or I can use an arrow way. I can say 115 and then I take away 100 and I get to 15. So 15 songs were hip hop. Now this question has a part B. 80 of his songs were oldies rock. How many rock songs were new? So let's do another tape diagram. Now my whole is now 100 because I'm only counting the rock songs and 80 of those were oldies and how many are new? Well, again, I can go ahead and have 100. I can make an arrow way and I can take away 80 and let's see, 100 take away 80 is equal to 20. So 20 rock songs were new. So let's go ahead and get started with our concept today. I have a problem right here, 107 take away 90. That looks a little difficult, but let me show you an easier way. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to focus on that number 107 and let's take it apart. And I'm going to take out 100 and some ones. Now I need to figure out what's left. So if I took out 100 and it's 107, well, that means that I have seven left and I'm going to do 100 take away 90. So let's go ahead and see what that is. 100 take away 90 is equal to 10. So am I finished? Am I done? Does 107 take away 90 equal 10? No, it doesn't at all. Now I want you to take a look at this number right here, number seven. That's an important number. We haven't used it yet. So when we break numbers apart, we can't forget about the numbers that we don't use. So since I haven't used the seven, how am I going to use it? Am I going to take it away from 10? No, I can't take it away from 10. I'm actually going to add it to 10. And the reason why is because it's 107 take away 90. I already took away 90. So this seven, instead of taking it away, I can just add it to what's left. So I'm going to go ahead and do 10 plus seven and 10 and seven more is equal to 17. So that means that 107 take away 90 is equal to 17. So I'll get my answer that way. So let's go ahead and see if this works with another problem. Now I have 127 take away 70. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my number 127 and I am going to break it down. And when I break it down, I'm going to pull out the hundred and I'm going to have some ones left over. So how many ones am I going to have? Well, I'm going to have 27 ones. So I'm going to follow the same steps. I'm going to combine my like units, but I'm not going to combine them. I'm going to subtract them from each other. So let's go ahead and do 100 take away 70, and that is equal to 30. So am I finished? No, I'm not finished. Do you remember how we have to do something with that number? What do we have to do with it? Remember, we don't subtract it because we already subtracted everything that we needed to subtract. So now we add it to our answer. 
So I'm going to take that 30 and that 27, put them together. I know that three tens plus two tens is equal to 50, and then seven ones is 57. So that means that 127 take away 70 is equal to 57. All right, let's go ahead and try one more. I have 133 take away 60. I'm going to focus on that number right there. I'm going to break it apart and I'm going to pull out the 100. And how many ones do I have left? I have 33 ones. So let's go ahead and subtract our like units and that's 100 take away 60. So 100 take away 60 is equal to 40. Now remember, I'm not done yet. I need to look at that number right there and I need to add it to my answer because this problem says to subtract 60. I subtracted, I'm done, so I'm ready to go. So 40 plus 33 is equal to 73 because four tens plus three tens equals seven tens. Three more ones is 73. So 133 take away 60 is equal to 73. All right, I have one more problem for you. Monica incorrectly solved 132 take away 70 to get 102. Show her how to solve it correctly. Now I'm looking at Monica's work and she did a great job pulling out that 100. Awesome work. But one mistake that I see is when she did this right here. She did 100 take away 30 is equal to 70. Now remember, when we subtract, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to do those numbers right there, 100 take away 70, and her answer should have been 30. So let's show her what she should have done. She should have started with 132 take away 70, and then you break it apart. Now, she broke her number apart beautifully. She did 32 and 100. Now, I put my 100 on the opposite side just because it was easier to group up with the 70. So now I have 100 take away 70 equals 30. So do you see how our next steps are a little different? And then let's see what my next step was. I have 30 plus 32 is equal to 62. So that means that 132 take away 70 is equal to 62. So I can see where Monica had a little problem, but hopefully with some help, she gets that fixed. And that's all for today. A nice, easy lesson. And let's go ahead and make sure that we practice on our problem sets together and we'll get it done. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.